What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the full 90 and today it is time for the Champions League quarterfinal second leg predictions. We saw no games in the first round of quarterfinal fixtures where both teams scored, meaning that it is all to play for in the second leg. There are a few little surprises. I think Benfica were very unlucky to lose 2-0 to Inter Milan. I thought they had the share of the play, the chances, it just didn't fall for them and Man City absolutely annihilating Bayern Munich. But nevertheless, let's get in with the quarterfinal leg two predictions. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, we're getting very, very close to 24,000 subscribers and leave your predictions down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to qualify to the semi-finals? Let me know. First of all, we have Chelsea up against Real Madrid. Chelsea, I believe they rotated their squad slightly uh, with an eye on this fixture in the Premier League. We correctly predicted that they would lose 2-1 to Brighton and to be honest, 2-1 flattered Chelsea. Frank Lampard can't, couldn't really have had a worse start as uh, it's the second attempt at uh, being a Chelsea manager. Real Madrid are obviously, I think they're through in this tie. We correctly predicted they'd beat Chelsea 2-0 in the first leg. I actually think Real Madrid are going to win again, but I think Chelsea are going to score. They have to score, so I think they will, even though Chelsea really struggle. Going to go one for Chelsea, two for Real Madrid. I can see them doing the double in a two-legged tie where that's absolutely not necessary. I think Real Madrid can win twice. My tip is going to be both teams to score at 1.7, uh, but you could look at Real Madrid to win as a tip. I think Real Madrid are that much better than Chelsea, and Chelsea just not looking good. Don't let these Ws fool you. These are Champions League only fixtures, all of which happened a long time ago, other than this 2-0 here i mean this one here dortmund 2-0 was a good result but real madrid are gonna they're gonna progress and i think they actually have enough to beat chelsea uh in this in this fixture after this a very very interesting one probably the closest tie we have remaining after the first leg it's napoli up against ac milan napoli without Osimhen in the first leg but looks likely that he will return he's been back in training and i think it's, it's do or die, really, isn't it? They've pretty much tied up Syria, uh, more or less, barring something that we've never seen before. They will win the Syria. So their whole season, really, as great as it's been, kind of relies now on this as well. And I, I do think Napoli are going to win this one. I'm going to go for a 2-1, though. AC Milan got the hoodoo on Napoli, beating them to nil in their last two meetings. 4-0 in Syria, 1-0 in the first leg. I think Napoli at home are going to be able to get the win. But obviously, 2-1 has it 2-2 on aggregate. And for the feel-good factor, I'll say Napoli go through because everyone wants Napoli to go through. They want them to do well. And I think having given that Napoli had a weakened squad for the first leg, it would feel harsh if Napoli had to exit the Champions League after an unbelievable campaign, essentially, you could argue, due to injury. So I'll go with Napoli to qualify on penalties. Uh, but I'll go 2-1 to Napoli in this fixture. My tip is Napoli to win at 1.8. They don't have to qualify. Napoli just to win. 1.8 at home. I think that's really good. A really good value. Uh, next up, Bayern Munich up against Manchester City. Bayern Munich need to score three at least. Uh, I don't think they're going to do that. I think they will score a couple, but I also don't think Man City will be without reply. It, Man City, they're so far ahead. There's, it's just such a random tie. That's why the odds are so even as to whether or not Man City will win. Bayern will win. It'll be a draw. I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for 2-2. Uh, for I think Bayern Munich will get a couple of goals because if there's any team in the world other than Man City, if they need goals to stay in a competition and they're going to get them, it's going to be Bayern Munich. So I'm going to go 2-2. My tip is both teams to score an over 2.5 goals at 1.72. But I just think the first leg is done and done. Haaland obviously scored his two goals at the weekend. Uh, no, was it two goals? or was it? I think it was a goal and an assist. I think it was actually two goals. Uh, yeah, he scored his two goals at the weekend, then came off at half time. So uh, he'll be ready for this one. Looking to get more goals. I think he will get one again. 2-2, um, Man City to breeze past what was potentially a very difficult tie made it look light work thanks to that first leg at the Etihad and after that Inter Milan up against Benfica Benfica on top top form only losing that last game uh, really and 2-0 like I said it feels unfair but I think Inter Milan a lot of their games are quite low scoring and I think a team like Inter Milan will be able to manage a 2-0 lead I think Benfica are really good but I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Much like Man City basically seeing out their lead with a draw. I think Inter Milan will be able to keep it low scoring. I'm going to go 1-1. And my tip is actually Benfica double chance at 1.66. Because Inter Milan are the favourites here. And although they won 2-0, I do think Benfica are capable of beating Inter Milan. So Benfica double chance at 1.66 is my pick. So no real shocks in terms of qualification. Real Madrid breeze past Chelsea. Man City breeze past Bayern Munich. Inter Milan, thanks to their first leg, knock out Benfica, who have had an 
excellent run and uh, i'm going for napoli to knock out ac milan that one is a close one but those are my picks so let me know down in the comments what you thought and that is going to do it for me in this video and uh, yep wear my arsenal shirt of course it's been uh, pretty tough pretty tough uh, a couple of games in the premier league for arsenal but hey you know we can still dream uh, that is going to do it for me and i'll see you in the next video very soon